First question is from Miss Anitude. I feel like I get so much conflicting info on the glute squeeze at the top of deadlifts and squats. Some say it's a good way to ensure you are activating or utilizing your glutes in lifts, and others say it's bad for your spine. What are your thoughts? Well, there's a difference between squeezing your glutes and arching your spine. Yeah, or cha uh, yeah. or changing your form and position, right? Because right, right. what happens, I think, to a lot of people at the top of a squat when they squeeze their glutes is they shift their pelvis forward. Right. They and push forward and lean back with their upper body. They put themselves in a weird position that then they need to get out of to get back into a proper squat. That becomes a problem. <clears throat> you want to be able to squeeze a muscle and activate a muscle without having to change your position, okay? That means you have good connection to that muscle. So, for example, I can flex my bicep if my arm is extended, if it's halfway bent, or if it's fully bent. Some people can only feel their bicep squeezing if it's fully uh, bent all the way. This is true with the glutes as well. If you have trouble squeezing your glutes at the top of a squat without shifting your hips forward, then I recommend you don't squeeze your glutes at the top and instead focus on priming your squats with a exercise that allows you to squeeze the glutes like a hip thrust. So like doing a hip thrust before you do squats gives you that ability to squeeze and connect to the glutes. Then when you do your barbell squats, now you can probably feel what it's supposed to feel like to be more connected to we, them. We did a really good YouTube mm -hmm. on this uh, where I, I do uh, back presses and then floor bridges. So uh, because the other part of that, even if you go into hip thrust and you have a tendency to arch to get to get up like that, you still may even do it on a hip thrust. Although gravity is working in your favor to not do that, there is still the possibility that you overarch uh, even on an exercise like a hip thrust. And so if I have a client that's doing that, then I teach them the, the uh, back press, the floor press where you're laying down before you go to a floor bridge. So you're teaching them to have that pelvic control and 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 keep that your in that neutral spine with your core activated and then lift up w with your glutes because you know this reminds me of too you brought this up the other day Sal in, in an episode where you know how how common was this when we train a client who d has uh, limited range of motion or control in their shoulder and you tell them to do a shoulder press and and you tell them to reach all the way up and at the top they they go they go up on their toes. Mm -hmm. This is a, a similar issue, right? It's, right. it's only it's in the hips and the butt. Like yeah. you you hear cue from a trainer saying squeeze the glutes really hard, and when you do that, you want to arch the back to get more of a squeeze. Mm -hmm. Like the the idea is that you do squeeze the glutes, but you still also maintain a good neutral spine at the same time. If you have a hard time doing that, then you refer to those movements like you were talking about. Yeah. So if you are squeezing your glutes at the top of deadlifts and squats, but your your spine is really changing position in order to do it, then it is bad for your spine. Yeah. But if you can feel the glutes at the top and squeeze them without altering good form, mm -hmm. then that's a great way to feel the glutes and to target them with those exercises. And also try to, to, to maintain that tension, you know, all the way through. Like we have a couple, like the, the Dumphy squat, for instance, is one of those great kind of tools to try and see where, you know, there, there's a break in, in your bracing technique. And so whether it is, you know, your, your core bracing, but also like activating your legs properly and getting your glutes and your your quads and things to fire appropriately uh you know slow down slow down and, and and squeeze and see where you know there's a there's a discrepancy yeah now to be honest i i almost never when i would train clients would tell them to squeeze their glutes at the top of a barbell squat i would tell them sometimes to squeeze their quads because it doesn't tend to cause people to have different position if somebody didn't feel their glutes on a squat uh my remedy was typically good priming or change the exercise form itself you know, at the top of a squat, when you're standing, the glutes are relatively less active than they would be when you're down at the half point or at the bottom of a squat. Mm. At the top, you don't really need, your glutes don't have to fire hard to hold the weight up. Now, as opposed to like a, a hip thrust, a hip thrust, to hold your position at the top of the hip thrust, you have to really squeeze the glutes. It's really what's holding you up there. So, you know, if, if you're trying to feel your glutes with squats and you're like, oh, I don't feel them, maybe I should squeeze them. I recommend instead proper priming and maybe change your technique. It's not necessarily a good exercise that lends itself well to a squeeze at the top. It really only works well when you already have good control with your glutes. You already have a good connection, in which case then you can squeeze at the top and not change your, your, your positioning.